We tell stories at Milwaukee PBS. Here's one you may have missed. Welcome to the Arts Page. I'm your host, Sandy Max. We start our look at Wisconsin art right here in Milwaukee with a milestone. The Milwaukee Ballet is celebrating 50 years of tradition and innovation, from classical ballets like Swan Lake and the Nutcracker to truly unique productions like Dracula and Peter Pan. Artistic director Michael Pink and his creative team have revolutionized storytelling through dance. Time now to get a first look at the Milwaukee Ballet's new home and learn more about the dance company's history and legacy. Milwaukee Ballet is a classical ballet company, therefore most of our dancers are trained in classical ballet. They come from the four corners of the world. The style of work that we present ranges from classical to very contemporary dance, and our audience has grown to expect that level of diversity. What is important and really differentiates us from many, many other companies is our commitment to narrative work. We produce full length by meaning an entire evening's entertainment that tells a story without speaking a word. Both my wife Jane and I, when we first met, we were working together in England and the company we worked for was really beginning to pioneer the idea that narrative dance could really mean telling a story, a complex story, not just boy meets girl, bad guy, good guy, prince, fairy, swan, whatever it might be, and then lots of, lots of lovely dancing. Our primary goal was to really tell a story that had integrity, that had con continuity, and that really developed the characters and their relationships. And so together we really pioneered the idea of developing nonverbal narrative theater. And that's become a major part of the identity of this, this company. We take time to talk about things and really invest in, this, in that storytelling and sort of being able to articulate how you make a dancer understand how they can actually speak with their bodies is really crucial. Attending a ballet is, is an all-round emotional uh, experience, largely because you are seeing beautiful movement or complex movement with your eyes. You're invariably hearing interesting music and, in, and often than not it will be live so that is your symphonic contribution uh, and you're telling a story without using words so it has no language barriers. The very beautiful Luth San Miguel is uh, a true ballerina and uh, for me the real deal and the kind of dancer that I would want to have emulated if I was you know younger looking up to her so she's just been a joy to watch and such a perfect exponent of Michael's style of choreography as well. For me as a dancer, to get to work with Michael Pink was like an epiphany. I always knew that there was something else to ballet that I was missing, that nobody else was giving me. I didn't want to just dance technique for the mere reason of dancing technique. I wanted to get a deeper approach and more dramatic approach. And Michael is a master of storytelling and he loves the dramatic part, the acting part of it. You have to be a great actor to do his ballets. I just found home and I got my artistic freedom and yes, not only you have to have a strong classical technique and do it beautifully, but now you're gonna use it to express emotions and to tell a story. So on top of Michael's sort of impeccably high technical standards that he holds for all the dancers in the company, which is incredibly important for a ballet company. He also has the same standard for artistic qualities. So Michael in the studio is split between how you're portraying a character and also how you're executing your steps. So it's incredibly inspiring um, working with someone with his wealth of knowledge and experience. Well, certainly in the 17 years that we've been here, I think dancers uh, and social media communication, they start to find out about what's happening in Milwaukee. They connect with each other and they, then they're also new work. The opportunity to actually be part of a creative process, you know, a, you know, a nascent creative process is really exciting one for a dancer. So you're not just doing a blueprint of somebody else's Aurora or a Prince Siegfried. You know, you actually get to make something brand new. That's something you keep with you forever. I think it's human nature. People want to belong somewhere where they feel 
valued, appreciated, listened to, and a part of the process. And the world of dance, because of the nature of it being usually young people, again, it is assumed that you're young. What would you know? This is a perfect size organization. It's not 20, an institution, that's the difference. It's certainly not yeah. an institution. And 25 dancers is a really nice, intimate group of people. So everybody gets an opportunity to be a part of it. Here you can grow, you can develop, you can be just about anything you want. And I think that truly speaks to why people say, I want to make Milwaukee Ballet my home. I want to make Milwaukee my home. Every time I say I'm from the Milwaukee Ballet, I am terribly proud of that. And I'm very proud to be in this artistic community. I think Milwaukee Ballet's mission to maintain traditions but also push the art form forward to continue to bring joy to people, and you know, I think it will continue on for years to come. I would love to think that the legacy of this, this company will really be um, its first 50 years and its history and its journey, and in particular the time that I've had the great fortune to be its uh, artistic leader, that we've elevated the art form to um, a level where more people are coming to the ballet, more people are appreciating it, people are uh, really aware of who we are as an organization in our community. But I would like to think we might become a role model for success for companies of similar sizes around the country, around the world, and that people would be inquisitive and interested enough to want to come and see uh, what we, how we do things here. Because it's always about an ability to learn and continue to learn. Watch the Arts Page on Milwaukee PBS and watch online at milwaukeepbs.org.